वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज अनदर वीडियो विद न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली टेगराए ब्रेकिंग न्यूज इज फ्रॉम टेगराए वेयर अनदर स्ट्राइक इज बींग रिपोर्टेड ऑन एदी दारो एदी दारो टाउन ऑफ टेगराए वॉज हिट इन एन एयर स्ट्राइक अराउंड अ वीक अगो टूडे स्ट्राइक वॉज अ ड्रोन स्ट्राइक गैत चो इन अ स्टेटमेंट जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स गो सैड इट वॉज अ हरिफिक अटैक वट वॉज द टारगेट एंड सेकेंडली इट सीम्स दैट द फ्रूट्स ऑफ मीटिंग बिटवीन पी एम आर बी ऑफ इथियोपिया एंड प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ सोमालिया हसन शेख महमूद आर नाउ बिकमिंग विजिबल columns of uh, ethiopian uh, troops have been seen crossing into somalia from ethiopia to join the fight against al shabab details for you and third viewers uh, ethiopian government today organized a demonstration by tigrayans Tigrayans protested in Addis Ababa today in front of US embassy. We know that protests are generally discouraged by the government. Protesters are arrested, they are beaten like we saw in Bahirdar yesterday. But this protest is being shown on state media. Uh firstly viewers uh, at the Dairo a town small town of uh, tigray situated to the north of shire and almost a week ago an air strike was conducted on this town tigray uh, new sources shared videos pictures showing uh, the damage caused by the air strike several houses were seen destroyed some uh, eritrean activists denied they said uh, and some ethiopian activists as well they denied they said there was no air strike it was a false flag operation staged by tigray regional government later uh, ethiopian government acknowledged that it had conducted air strike on edidaro tigray accused eritrea that eritrean jets were involved in the air strike uh, on edidaro but ethiopian government uh, through its state media said that the air strike was conducted by ethiopian air force and target was uh, tplf's uh, logistics which are being hidden by tigray fighters in hospitals monasteries residential areas so a strike was confirmed now in the same town at the dairo a drone strike is being reported gata choreda confirmed a few minutes ago that uh, horrific drone strike was uh, conducted uh, today on at the dairo he claims the target was uh, some idp camps internally displaced persons who were displaced from adiabo where fighting is ongoing they were displaced from adiabo towards uh, adidaro and shire so in adidaro there are makeshift idp camps and according to gata choreda these camps were hit dozens yes he says dozens of children and women were killed and many more injured he says that uh, humanitarian organizations international ngos are not able to work in these areas because of uh, continued uh, don strikes air strikes and again he is condemning international community silence like we heard him last night when he was interviewed by tigray tv he lashed out at international community uh, for not condemning the war Uh, the campaign against tigray regional government tigray forces people of tigray official statement from ethiopian government is still awaited what was the target uh, reportedly in coming hours uh, tigray back new sources will share pictures and videos from the site of this uh, drone strike 
immediate reporting is a bit difficult. It's risky as well. We know that what happened when Gattacho's house was hit in Makale. One don't strike on his house and a few minutes after that, second don't strike on the same spot. So it will take uh, some time for pictures, videos uh, to be aired from Adi Dairo. If IDP camps have been hit, it should be condemned. These IDPs uh, have been suffering since the start of this conflict in November 2020. They were displaced from Western Tigray, from Humaira, Bulkai. Tens of thousands were pushed towards Shire. Now they are being displaced from border areas, Eritrea, Tigray border areas, being pushed towards Adidaro, Shire, Aksum. So they don't have a permanent residence accommodation available. Aid agencies have lost access to these camps because Don strikes, strikes are intensifying. On daily basis, we are seeing strikes on Tigray. So you see, the plight of uh, IDPs in Tigray should not be ignored. Uh, if they have been hit, if their camps have been hit, obviously the culprits must be brought to justice. While in this war, Ethiopian government does have a right to hit military targets, like Tigray is conducting military operation. But no government uh, has a right to hit these poor IDPs. Hopefully in coming videos, we'll share details with you. So far, Ethiopian government is a silent. Adidaro seems to be a key front now, viewers. Uh, uh, despite several attempts, it means that ENDF and EDF could not capture Adi Dairo. Adi Dairo is key when it comes to taking control of Shire. That is why Don Stikes is Stikes underway. What was the target here? Uh, was it uh, uh, was the target inside the camps or uh, was uh, the strike uh, conducted by mistake? Uh, that remains to be seen. Secondly, viewers, uh, Somalia's President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud visited Ethiopia last week. Uh, it seems that in strained Somalia-Ethiopia relations, a breakthrough has happened as now columns of Ethiopian troops are being seen crossing into Somalia from Ethiopia. In Somalia, we know that around two weeks ago, around two, three weeks ago, government forces, regional federal forces and militias launched an offensive against Al-Shabaab armed group in control of one third of Somalia. Since then, uh, ground offensive ongoing, air strikes ongoing, Turkish TB2 drones busy as well. U.S. Africa Command conducting air strikes on Al Shabaab positions too, and now Ethiopian troops are being involved. We know that uh, around two months ago, Al Shabaab tried to enter Ethiopia. In Somali region of Ethiopia, there was heavy fighting uh, in more than one areas, and dozens of Al Shabaab fighters were killed. Ultimately, Ethiopian government forces. Somali special force, Ethiopian national defense force, they succeeded in pushing Al-Shabaab out of Ethiopia. And then Ethiopian forces entered Somalia to create a buffer zone between Somalia and Ethiopia. And now, reportedly, columns of Ethiopian military have been seen crossing into Gado zone, which is in Jubaland. Uh, Jubaland shares border with Somali region of Ethiopia. From the Somali region of Ethiopia through Dolo town, Ethiopian troops are crossing into Jubba land. They'll be part of operations against Al-Shabaab. Uh, oh, overall, a positive development that uh, Hassan Sheikh has taken PM Abi on board regarding the fight against Al-Shabaab. I think Kenya should be on board as well, uh, though Kenyan troops are there in Somalia. It should be a joint regional, international local effort if uh, Somalia wants to contain Al-Shabaab. But still a long way to go. This fight against Al-Shabaab will take months, if not years. Lastly, viewers, uh, protests are not uh, encouraged in Ethiopia. Protesters are uh, dispersed. They are arrested. 
but in addis ababa protests are being shown by state media who are these protesters today state media ethiopian state media showed pictures of protesters uh, protesting in front of uh, us embassy in addis ababa uh, and it is being said by the state media that the, that the protesters are tigrayans they are protesting against tplf in front of us embassy why because allegedly us and western countries are supporting tplf so obviously very clear this is government backed protest protesters could be tigrayans so some tigrayans are on government side as well uh, who is uh, ethiopian defense minister uh, abraham bale i think Uh, he is from he is a Tigrayan and some other Tigrayans as well. So they could be Tigrayans, uh, pro-government Tigrayans, or uh, some other uh, members, uh, members of some other ethnic groups as well. The protest was held, and protesters were carrying banners, placards with slogans like uh, one uh, banner uh, was seen with writing "TPLF should stop forcing children and youth to war fronts." So. it was a government organized protest in front of us embassy government is trying to uh, tell us that uh, tigrayans are not happy with tplf that tigrayans are tired of tplf's wars and that is why they are protesting in addis ababa in front of uh, us embassy but uh, majority of tigrayans is against ethiopian government against ethiopian pm uh because they are arbitrarily arrested detained uh, thousands are in prisons uh, their brothers sisters mothers fathers in tigray under a siege so i don't think that majority of tigrayans uh, supports ethiopian government's narrative about this war thank you much